Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to World of Tanks Generals. Today we are playing some Uterba, or not Uter, Eleventh Squadron. That was a slip. Ah, I guess I want to play Uterbog today, guys. Um, we're going to pitch this hand away. <coughs> wow, that was <laughs> that was kind of a funny mistake right there. We're playing Eleventh. Oh, 11th squadron because I don't think we played that for a while for a fairly long while so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be playing some 11th all right four seven eight nine <laughs> we're going to be horrible people oh wait I'm s I'm stupid mountain pass Alright guys, notice Mountain Pass. That was a mistake. I was going to play that and shoot it with the M37. But, yep. Errors. Errors. Mistakes were made. You should have played the T6. Always look at the assets. I was not paying attention. I was getting up and getting a cough drop. Because my throat's kind of like, I guess you can say dry. <clears throat> now my father's gonna come back any time now. So you're just randomly going to hear some old guy come in and start speaking and yelling at me, you know? That that's what happens. That is what happens when some old guy shows up. Huh. I think the A7V and the um, M37 are the plays here, with the help for the front. Hopefully he doesn't kill my Stuart. That'd be annoying. Okay, good. Good, good. Just don't kill my Stuart, man. It'd be super annoying. Alright, help for the front first. Just see if we get a better 4-drop. We did not get a better 4-drop, but we got a better 2-drop, so... We'll help for the front again. Heal again. The reason why this 2-drop is better is it can get rid of this MS-1. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so basically he doesn't seem like a um, uh, that aggressive of a deck. Seems more like he's going to want a board presence than anything else. So if he wants to start playing aggressively, we can always heal ourselves. We have, we have plenty of um, resources out for that. We can heal twice and then start being really annoying. It's the nice thing about the 11th is it counters a sort of aggro really well. Especially his. His is pretty weak. Well, okay. He definitely looks like he wants to be playing aggro. I don't know if he's certain about that, though. He seems a little, um, uh, unsure of that. Eh, I don't know. I'll just get more tanks out. And just start doing more damage to everything. Alright, looks like he is going to control the board. Keep that T6 right there. <clears throat> okay. I will put this out because you can't resist that. shoot just so he doesn't um you know take that out with his HQ already I mean he will he still will but at least it did one damage one damage is better than no damage our M37 is going to get some work done though that's always good getting work done it basically does work you know it's basically all it ever does it's just nothing but work now it reminds me I have laundry I have to do oh it's always great, it's just a great thing to remember randomly. Oh yeah, laundry! Yay, yay! Yeah. 
nice thing about the M37 is it basically just removes a unit. Uh, I don't think that's some old guy yet. Oh, I should turn off the television though. Yeah, I'll I'll do that after this game. Can't just walk away. All right. Okay. With each battle, it's an interesting decision. Hmm. Is he gonna move the? No, he's not. Okay. Would have assumed he was going to move that T6 up, because that would make sense. It would have made sense to Artie that too. But oh well. Guess he's going to try to beat us down like this. Guess that's the plan here. Cool. Cool. More healing. It must be super annoying. I'd be annoyed. I'd be really annoyed at this point by all the healing we did. And all the healing we'll be able to do. May as well stop that from attacking. Get that damage off. You have to get that damage. Have to do our damage. Have to do it. <laughs> Alright, um... So from here, we're, we're looking pretty good right here. We have a large card advantage. We're not too hurt yet. We'll start to just be able to start deploying our cards and just healing. I mean, we can just start healing, actually. We can just start heal two per round and stay alive for, like, 15 plus turns. Because he's doing one damage per turn after that. It depends on our draw. Let's see what we'll get from one. We'll have eight left. So we'll deploy. We'll deploy the um, uh, T6, I guess. We're not going to draw a bunch of cards. Because that'd be a bad idea. And the next turn, we can heal twice and play gunners unless he, sh unless he like shoots a unit or something. That's why I played the T6 this turn, because it sets up a play for next turn where we can still do things. Alright, we can't do that now, because the unit is going to die. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys can't hear that television in here. I can't, but I have a headset on. Hang on. Alright, just spare. I doubt you can. I mean, this mic doesn't pick up hardly even my voice, so... If it, if it picked up that, I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Alright, we'll remove it. Alright, we need uh, two more damage, so... That's where this Gunners comes in. I mean, we haven't used our support yet. We should probably use that sometime. Now we're up to being able to just completely outheal him. Just outheal him completely. So if he, if he doesn't remove that A7V, well, we can just start healing our um, uh, units around his HQ. Or we can start healing ourselves. It just depends on his actions. If you start shooting our units, hey, we'll start healing them. Looks like that's what he's doing. So this will work out for us. This will work out nicely for us. Although most of these are at full health. So well, look at that. We drew the right amount of um, uh, cost card. There we go. <laughs> we drew the card that costs the um, proper amount for the amount of resources we want to be spending so we can spend all of them this turn which is really nice there we go we're in good standing now hopefully he shoots the T21 because that's not going back in there it's not going back in there it'll let us heal again and um, we might even be able to draw some cards now we might be safe enough to draw some cards keep the pressure up because we have to keep this pressure up. Although, really, just healing our cards might be the best, because that's basically like drawing free cards. Keeping your cards alive is just as good. Just as good. Hmm. Alright, we will definitely play police. Oh, 
All of these are on full health, right? Yeah. Seven's full. The eight's full. Nine is full. Come on, move up. Three. Seven. Eight, nine. All right, we'll draw two cards. We'll draw two cards. That'll do. Okay, that, that works out. We have enough now. We have enough to just sort of win. We can just sort of win this. I mean, those two cards are, I guess you can say, a safety net. Sure, it did two damage to us, but we have plenty of health. It's going to take him a while to beat down those squads, and um, we have a T-40. So T-40 and Gunner's next turn, probably. And I'll leave one heal. So one heal, eight resources spent. Give us a bunch more supply to heal with more. We're, we're going to win this game pretty easily, even though we messed up on the first turn quite badly. Yeah, we'll heal that. That'll make him have to have an order to deal with it, and if he if he has that, that's fine. Oh, nope, he surrendered. Okay, so we're not going to do anything next turn, because there is no next turn. He gave up. Okay, that's not bad, and, um, uh, okay. We'll go on to the next one now. And we're back. We finally found ourselves a game that took a very long time. So, yeah. I almost had given up and wanted to start recording a bit later, and... I might or might not. I already had to record the outro just because, you know, I want to get the outro out of the way before my father gets back because I feel like it's important. This hand's actually good. I changed my mind on that. I actually like this hand. First, I didn't, but I was like, eh, eh, it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, we we can do that. We can do that. There, there's a lot of options here. There's plenty of options here. We can also do this. This is pretty solid, actually. I put that in... Oh, oops. Forgot to shoot. I put this in the middle because I just want this to threaten more things. I know maybe there's something to be said about having the more durable unit in the middle, but I want to be able to support and shoot that. Or just... Yeah. Support, shoot, shoot with the M37. <coughs> That'd be okay. Okay, never mind. There goes my dreams. There goes my dreams. Alright, we'll just, um... We'll just do that. We moved this up just to spot it, because we need to spot it to shoot it. So now we each have seven cards. Each of us have seven cards, so that's okay. We have police in case he decides to start really aggroing us. We have another M37, so we'll be able to lock down a good portion of the board. Hopefully we can kill everything else, like lock down two of his units, kill the rest. Or even better, just kill all his units and not need to lock down any. That That's always the preferred option, but we'll be able to hopefully lock down two at a time, and that'll be great. Locking down two units is very okay with me. I'm fine with that idea. I'm very fine with that idea. But like this right here, this is even better, because we, we get to kill this unit. always great. Um, Avenge is not a card that German decks generally can run because they don't get all the benefits from it. So we'll throw that in the middle. We'll back this off. If he wants to move up and shoot her T6 with his arty, that's fine. Be my guest. You can do that. Just be my guest. Want to move the A7V back though because he, can't, he probably can't kill that with his arty. Probably can't kill that at all with his arty. But it looks like he can kill that with his arty, so that that's fine. That's fine. Alright, so we can 
we can keep this board shut down pretty effectively. Pretty effectively. I guess we can justify clearing this out. I mean, we could keep those both locked down. But why keep them both locked down when we can just remove one from his board? And this is working out great, because either way, he could just move that down and shoot this A7V, so may as well make him shoot it this turn and get some damage from it. I mean, he can't really kill at T6 too easily. Like, ah, uh, he can now, but he'll probably just take the free kill. Yeah. And shoot that. Probably going to shoot that, I'm sure of it, yep. Yep. That's what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. We have three damage we can do. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is not very good right here. Alright, so we can... Oh, I messed up. I meant to remove that with that. Oops. Oh well. Still works out. This is still going to be a pain for him to deal with. It's going to be a huge pain for him to deal with. We need more units, though. We need to support these M37s in the back. <laughs> because right now, he cleared our board out. So, oops. Oops. We need to draw a unit. Otherwise, we will lose. That is not a unit. Now we're going to lose because we can't draw a unit. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. If we don't draw a unit, we lose. That's just how this works. If we don't draw a unit, we will lose. Because now he's gone to a point where he has enough arty to kill our arties. That's fine. That's fine. Don't move that. Don't move that. Oh, cool. Cool. Seriously? Seriously, game? Are you serious? Well, if this guy played right, we would have just lost. Like, no question about it, we would have lost. Because we didn't draw a unit to fight this unit. So we would have lost, he would have just cleared out our arty, and there would have been nothing we could have done about it, just like there is now. Move that up, move that up, make a mistake. That would be a mistake right there, if he moves that up. He needs to move this up and keep this back. Alright. Still the wrong play, but better still, because he can kill these next turn. Pretty guaranteed. You know what? We'll just hold on to that. Since currently these draws are horrible. We'll hope he moves this up. And we hope he'll kill only one of these. Kill only one of these. I can't believe we threw this so hard. Alright. Just, just sit back. Just sit back. Sit back and let's draw our light tanks. Cool. Cool. He's seriously just sitting back. Although he's amassing a force, which is an issue. This is an issue for us. This is bad. Okay. That will get us back in this game. Let's just draw four. We'll risk discarding whatever we need to discard. Okay. Good. 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 We got some cards back. So now we can fight this. We can fight this now. Discard a telephone. That'd be great. Oh no. Not the T40? Ah. <sighs> Out of those four draws, we only got two units. We might want to like reevaluate our um, uh, unit density, I guess you can say, in this deck, because apparently we don't have enough. We apparently do not have enough. Don't know why he's sitting back. He, he should be removing these. We're way up on cards. He, but he should be winning, because he should be removing these already. 
the back. But he's not removing the Artie in the back. Don't know why he's attacking that squad with a Grilly, but whatever. Whatever, he's free to mess up, which he's really doing right now. He is really not playing this correctly. Two and seven. So we're going to clear this out so he can't kill our Artie anymore, which he should have done. He really should have. And we'll plop this down. Put it down there to make it look like we don't want him to come at it, but we do want him to come at it. It's a, it's a trap, guys. It is actually a trap. I'm hoping he does come at it and maybe shoot it with Artie, possibly. Because then I'll have his um, T-35 caught out. There we go. There we go. t 35s a bit caught out now. Oh, wait. He played another Grilly. That's bad for us, then. Well, it would have been good if he didn't play that Grilly. Didn't notice that. That would have been a better draw to begin with. I guess we have to attack. You can do two, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, move up, shoot. All right, that's fine. He's being pretty passive, which is not the right play. Not the right play at all. He can't afford to be passive here. And he's probably going to continue to be passive, even though he has an advantage on the board, and we have a card advantage. You, you can't... You can't do that, guys. Like, alright, when your opponent has a card advantage over you, but you have more on the board, press it. Press that advantage that you have, because if you don't, your opponent's just going to catch up with you with what's on the board, because he has more cards in hand. So, yeah. Don't, don't do what this guy's currently doing. It's, it's not good. I mean, he's not going to out damage me. I have a lot of defensive squads. I mean, he technically can think he might be out, might be able to outdamage me, but it's pretty doubtful at this point, especially when I can just move up and disable two of his unit's attacks. I mean, that's not a good thing for him. That's a really bad thing for him. Okay. Okay, so I can lock down those units. I can kill that unit. And then he can return some fire, but that'll be okay. I mean, it's not going to really do much to us. See, right here, we can't deal with these two units, but we can basically remove their damage from the board. Sure, it gives him a turn to shoot at us with his arty, but that, that's fine. That's fine. It's better than also being shot at with this. It's only 6 damage instead of 10. I mean, we'll want to remove that Artie, but... Oh, free Artie right there. Alright, he's killing this. He's going to kill that, but... That's okay. That is okay. He's going to have problems with our two T21s next turn. So he has six damage. He'll have six damage, so we'll be able to remove one, but not both. And hopefully we'll draw a unit. I really hope we can draw a unit, because we we can still lose this. I mean him being passive, I guess, is working, but I disagree with that approach a lot. I mean it's not going as bad as it should be for him. Oh there we go. That's what we need. Alright, so we're just going to shoot both of those, and we're going to disable those units again. And I 
guess we'll shoot one of them. Guess we'll shoot that one. Get it down to just being able to die to her heavy, I guess. <coughs> Next turn, we'll start on the um, uh, grillies. We'll start grilling. I mean, there's something to be said about just getting rid of these grillies. Just getting rid of the grillies. Oh, cool. Cool. New unit, I guess. That's not really cool. That's kind of bad for us. No, that's not too bad for us. That's a little bad for us. Alright, he's removing two of our units now. Relatively cheaply, too. Hmm. We might be losing this game still. Oh. That's a good draw. It's a great draw. Alright, we'll remove I guess that medium. Mostly because it allows us to just pop those two with our M37s. Allows us to pop this with our HQ and this. I mean, I should have probably attacked that, but whatever. We could kill that one. Can I kill this one too easily? If I can, I'm just going to hit both of those with... RM37s because those are a pretty good target for RM37s. He can do six. He needs one damage in hand. Otherwise, he will lose. He will just lose. Hopefully, he moves this up and shoots that. That'd be that'd be pretty pretty okay. Doesn't look like that's the plan. He did remove that. Okay. Good for him. Good for him. All right, we'll remove these two units and shoot that. All right, we lost our card advantage, actually. His Artie's doing pretty good work here. For now. Which, I mean, our Artie's doing pretty decent work, too. But I think we're going to lose. We're probably just going to draw it out of cards because we can't beat him yet. Wait, right, he can only kill one. Oh, why does he keep drawing units? Come on, quit it. <laughs> this guy needs to quit this. Like right now, he needs to quit this. We're going to lose, which is horrible. We should not be losing this game, guys. We shouldn't be. Yeah, we we've lost this. I mean, we're going to draw out of cards. We have no way to replenish our deck. This guy somehow managed. We need that Stuart a lot earlier. Well, I guess we have to draw two cards to just push with. Like, I think this game can still go five turns and we can still win. That's as many cards as I'm comfortable drawing right now. He should have pressed in. He would have won sooner, but he's got some really lucky draws with some of these beefy units when he got them. Because, like, if he didn't draw this, we would have easily won this. He's gonna kill one of these, but oh well. We'll be able to start locking him down. I'm gonna attack this. Attack this T T6, that'd be pretty okay. Okay. That's fine. That's completely fine. He's at five? It's ridiculous. I guess we hit the grilly. And we shoot these two units because that's what we have the capability of shooting. I don't think 
Why does he have so many defensive squads, too? What is this? Is this just a... Like, was the plan here just to sit there and turtle? Because we're out of cards. Maybe we shouldn't have drawn those two cards. Maybe we could have won with two more turns. Maybe. Alright. At this point, we're going to start beating on his HQ. That's what we need to do. I should have deployed this. No, I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I should have. Yeah, I should have. Okay. Okay. Time to hopefully beat down his HQ. I don't think we have enough damage. It's four. I should have killed that, possibly. Oh, what am I doing? That does no damage to his thing because he has the thing. Great. 11. Um, we need to do 27, a bunch, a bunch of damage. I mean, we have the board, we have card advantage, but we're going to lose because we drew too many cards in this process, and we're going to run out of cards, and we don't have a way to replenish our deck. If he's smart, he moves a squirrel up and he shoots that, and he'll win. But he didn't, so... Oh, that's... that's stupid that we lost to this deck, guys. It's just so stupid. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter because it doesn't do damage. Well, I mean, I can... No, I'll hammer him. That's more efficient. I mean, that does no damage, so... So, yeah. Yeah, we can't win this anymore. Nope. Nope, we lost. We can't kill him in two turns. We don't have the damage to kill him in two turns. We just don't. Well, that was well played on his part, I guess. If only we could have dealt with the Grillies sooner, we would have won. But, you know, it happens, we lose. The stupid approach he took to this stack, though. Very stupid, just sitting back and being defensive, and we drew horrible lady, too. We drew terribly, guys. We should have drawn more units. We would have won. We would have won if we would have drawn more units. <sighs> Can this guy hurry up with his turn already? I want to give him his medal. But seriously. Seriously. Quit it. Quit BMing. That's what, it, that's what this is. It's BM. It stands for bad mannering. Bad manners. Ah. Alright, that was okay. Yeah, 160. It's always sad to see on a loss. Alright, on to the next one. That's ah, stupid. I stopped the recording as soon as it went on to another one. Seventh? No. We want a defensive unit, at least, in case he's a. Oh, wait. Duh. Oops. Oh, well, this was a pretty good hand then. <laughs> Just for some reason, I was like, oh, that's not a defensive squad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, telephonists. Not defensive squad. I'm sorry, guys. You're fired. Okay. There we go. Uh, and that's a mountain pass. I mean, of course it's mountain pass. It's always mountain pass. Come on, draw a T35. T35-1 would be pretty good right now. That's not T-35-1. In fact, that's a pretty dead card. It's a good card, but it's pretty dead right now. Come on, discard that card. I don't want to be drawing a bunch of cards and taking damage. There we go. Mm, I think, yeah, I think my father just came back. Yeah. Okay, so we did discard the card we wanted. It's a pretty dead card in this match. A card that actually lost us at last, last game, but... It's a good card, just when you draw cards that you can use with it instead of, yeah. I might want to put, like, these Steel Fists, I am considering removing from this deck. They are a pretty dead card most of the time. Yeah, we have to just push in on... Yeah, we can't sit back. Okay, now we draw the... 
25 drop. I don't want to hit that, but I do. But I don't, because, I mean, it's not favorable for us, and if he is a more board heavy 7th, we'll lose due to it. But if he's not, we'll win due to it, so we just have to kind of guess what type of deck he is, and right now he's not looking like a... Right now he is looking like a board 7th. So I'm confused now, why didn't he move his T6 up and shoot our T82 with his arty? That would have been a play that made sense. Instead of this one, which doesn't... Huh. Strange. Very strange. It's not a standard play at all. Because now we can just remove this for free. That's very unfortunate for him. Hmm. But now the question is, what do we play now? Kind of want to hit that with at least one damage of something here. We'll try to draw an arty. Nope. Okay, then we'll just eat the two damage. That's fine. We can eat two damage. I mean, we can always heal that later. We can heal damage up later. That's what we can do. Okay, so he has eight cards. We have eight cards. It's okay. If he shoots her T82 with Artie, that's fine. If he attacks it, that's fine. It's already traded for a card. Of course, if he removes it with Artie, it will just draw us a card. And we probably won't draw out of cards. I mean, that rarely happens. I'm surprised that happened last game. Next turn, police can draw us another card, give us a little more advantage. That's fine. He used an order to remove that. That's perfectly fine. It's a perfectly acceptable trade for us. Just as this will be a pretty perfectly acceptable trade. Um, let's grab... Let's put down the police first. Um, four. That doesn't make a huge difference because one damage would still remove it. And this makes it easier to remove his arty. Makes it much easier to remove his arty. So, we are up a card now thanks to the reinforcements from the police. So. Yeah, that's a weird sentence taken out of context, but it makes sense currently. Okay, he might be tempted to... I mean, yeah, you could argue... Yeah, he only needs... Okay, yeah, that's, that's a valid argument against what I did do. But, eh. I did not expect him to have a Su-85. He doesn't seem like that type of deck. Eh. It's a little, little bad for us. He could have still done the exact same thing, but he wouldn't have gone this three damage off right here on that. Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. That's good for this matchup. This one's not dead, at least. Two of them are bad, though. But we only have one now, so... We'll hang back for a little bit. Just hang back. We have sort of lost card advantage, just a little bit. We'll get that back though, I mean, unless he moves up and removes our T40 with his arty, but I doubt he's going to do that because he's trying to play the slightly more aggressive role here. So he wants to sit back and make us come to him because he can, because he outdamages us with arty, so we have to. Yeah, that makes that always makes the seventh difficult to play against. I think I did rush him a bit early, but he was showing to signs of being a hyper aggressive sort of deck. 
Now oh, there goes our T40. He's going to move that MS1 up and remove it with his HQ already, as that's what I would do in this situation. Because yep, yep, because that's a play that makes sense. Uh, we'll see what I get. If I get a T82, I'll be very happy here. It'd be great. A T82 and an M37 are both good draws here. We might play our T2. See what we get from that. We might want to consider removing that MS1 with our Liberty, backing our Liberty off, and seeing what we draw from our T2, or maybe even playing our Telephonist to stall a little bit. Alright, we're not going to be able to back our Liberty off. Because he's going to hit it with the Su-85, that's going to prevent it from moving. So, we're just going to have to see what we can do with that. He's going to do... Oh, wait, what? He didn't shoot it? Alright, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Do nine damage to it. Yeah, let's do nine damage to it and remove it. It's a pretty annoying unit. Uh, can, should we heal a card here? Seven, six, four, five. Yeah, we'll push this one out of kill range for him. And we might want to back it off. Our Liberty, that is. Yeah, we'll back off the Liberty to make shots on it a little less free for him. So he's not going to be able to really back off too well with his spotting from that scout, so. Now here comes another Arty. Oh, Su-5. That's actually not as bad as a Su-122A. We don't have a lot of tank destroyers. We should. We really should be running more tank destroyers, but we don't have many of them in this deck. Huh, we've... We're really down on cards. To a concerning point, we're down in cards. We're down by two cards. That is truly concerning. Uh, play nine right there. Nine, okay. We're going to force this issue then. We're going to force him to have some answers here. And we're going to just really hope he doesn't have any answers. Yeah, I'd rather this be a tier 1 unit. Some people are right. Steel Fist is not that great. Okay, we're... 7 to 8. 7 to 8, that's fine. If we can get up there, we'll be catching up a little bit. But he needs an... That's not a good answer, but it is an answer. Yeah, that's an answer. That's 6 damage right there. That's a perfectly valid answer, actually. Not the greatest, but... We have our... 6... 8... We have 8 damage in hand and on the board. Combination between the two of them. I mean, we might want to back off, still. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, we might want to back off and draw, draw some of our cards. It's too bad he had an answer to her unit being there. But it's not the worst thing. Alright, we're that that settles it. We're backing off a little bit and we'll draw what, four cards? Five cards? If we draw five, they'll leave us at what, nine? Alright, we'll back that off. Alright, we'll draw, yeah, five cards. Yeah, five is probably good, but I'll leave us with two. 
and that's just enough to play our hammer on I guess a Su-5. It's not of great importance which one that is. So now we have our 11 cards to his 8, so we're up on cards again. I mean, drawing drawing 5 cards is is a pretty good thing, really. It's a great thing. I mean, we're going to be able to start flooding this board now and start dealing with his board. And we have enough to we have enough HP to stay alive for a pretty considerable amount of time. A very considerable amount of time. And he's going to have to deal with our board instead of shooting us. So, I mean, that that's that's very okay for us. We're in a good position now. Because Yeah, we're just going to bring that in to deal with that and And really, that's not dealing with it. That's just preventing it from attacking next turn, but that's kind of dealing with it. Alright, he can't kill this. He can't. Alright, we'll be doing one damage to that unit, because that's going to matter. That is really going to actually matter a lot because we'll have one more dealt to it, and we'll be able to remove it with our first strike on our tank destroyer. We healed this one up here because he currently has six damage. We don't want him killing that, so we healed it up to seven. So he has to have one more damage in hand to remove this unit. Although he'll probably just remove this one, even though it's a pretty kind of useless unit for us. I'm hoping he removes it, uh, but he should really remove it either way, because it's still a 1-3. It can still eat a few hits for our more important units, so if he couldn't have removed this, it would have been a good decision to remove that and deal what he could to our T6, but he could have removed our T6, and now he's choosing not to, which is just all around the wrong choice overall. It's just, it's just a bad choice. I mean, if he didn't have that T6, he should have just done what he's doing now, but since he has a T6, he should have just removed our T6 and left our 1-3 alone, because our 1-3 is a bit more useless than this T6. So I'm happy he made this decision, because it's the wrong one. I'm always happy when my opponent makes the wrong decisions. It's a good thing. It's a great thing when your opponent messes up. <laughs> it means you'll win. Um, alright, he's he's catching up a bit on the cards, actually. We both have 11 cards right now, but not for long. Because we have some pretty good card advantage cards coming out next turn. And some pretty good card advantage plays, like just freely removing this Liberty. That's a lot of damage off of his board, just for free, too. We're going to remove this T6, and we're going to prevent one of his arties from shooting. Probably that one, because that one's a bit easier to remove next turn. Right, we'll heal this up by one, so it survives. I mean, I don't know why, but that's what we're doing. I mean, we should have done that the other way. It doesn't matter. They're both free kills, either way. Because he has pretty good arty power. It's not actually his arty that's good, it's just his his firepower from both his HQ and his arty are pretty good. They're pretty solid. Because if this was down to one, he could remove it with that for free. He can re still re This unit can remove one of these for free when they're down to one. I, there's something to be said about healing this again instead of playing the T35, but I want to play the T35 to get more units out. And he can give us a draw off with this T82 still, but that's okay. That's fine for him to be giving us cards. He could remove it too, but... That would also remove his unit and would probably be a bad decision on his part. Looks like that's actually what he's doing. It's all around a bad decision on his part, I'm pretty sure. It might work out though. Sometimes bad decisions work out. 
Most of the time they don't, but sometimes they do. Hmm, what does he do? Does he trade that? Because if he trades that, that's fine. I am running low on cards in deck. We might draw out of cards again. We are having problems dealing with his board, though. So, I mean, him keeping his board alive is pretty important here since we're having problems dealing with it. So there's something to be said about both of them. One of them prevents me from having one card in my hand, which isn't bad for him. But the other option gives him a more complete board, so... And I'm having problems. Currently, I'm having some problems dealing with his board. So making me deal with that still is a pretty pretty solid choice. Alright, so he's giving me the card. That's probably what I would do here because I'd rather not trade the unit in there. I was hoping he'd attack with that um, T26 into our T35 one, but I can't, I can't hope for him to be that bad. He's actually playing pretty well though. So, I mean, I have to just assume he's going to make the right decisions. And he did there. He made a pretty solid decision there. <coughs> As is that trade. That trade right there is pretty solid. That's not even a trade on our part. That's more of we just took the card. It's not a great trade just removing the card for no loss on our part. Alright, hopefully he can't block the Stuart from going in. Because the steward's going to remove the Su-5, that's a good amount of his long-ranged firepower, so that's great. We do have 11 cards to his 8, so that's good for us. 3, 6, 7, 8. He can remove our T-35-1. And I think that's probably what he will do. Yeah, that's what he will do. That Churchill is kind of a weird tank. It's a really weird tank. I am definitely going to shoot that with our M37. Because I think it prevents an attack. Unable to attack, yeah. So, I mean, that that's good for us. That's good for us. Three, four, five. five. He'll have four damage with his... But he's able to do at range, meaning five damage total. Okay, we'll have eight. No, we just need to get some units out, I guess. I mean, he'll want to remove the Stuart probably over that, so... We'll just bring out another nice, big, beefy unit for him to deal with. That's the only reason I run these, is because they are pretty, pretty tough. They, they live. Liberty just kind of hits something for four. It's dealt eight damage. It's done its job. It's gained us some pretty good standing on the board. Once we get this, once we get around his brighead, we'll be able to just kind of beat down his HQ. Well, our units can just live, because we'll just repair them. Or something to be said about repairing this, because then he couldn't really remove it easily, but he would have been able to, because he just put down one more damage, which is what he would have needed. But, now, he chose not to, so... I can't think of much he can play for four that will be good here for him. I don't think he can remove this liberty, meaning I'm just going to kind of roll over his arty right there. Alright, so we'll do... Two damage there. This steel fist is getting some value here. All right, we remove the arty. That's great. And let's force him to have some damage in hand. Let's force that. Because we don't really have enough units to lay down and win right here. So 
So we can't just forcefully lay down like our hand and just win the game instantly. So we're just going to heal this and hope he doesn't have one more damage in hand. Just kind of hope. I'm assuming he does. There's a good chance he does, because I'm going to assume that his hand isn't just completely dead. But I can always hope his hand is completely dead, which it wasn't. But it forced him to play a Sue 5, meaning we get a, um, another arty of his. Just for free. Well, not for free, I mean, we kind of trade five resources for it, but it costs five, and it's a card, so that's a favorable trade for us. It's a very favorable trade for us. Okay, now we're drawing some units. That's good. And this, we can just kind of... We can just kind of keep that there for now. Alright, um... Eh, I don't know. I guess we'll heal this now. No, we'll play the T21. Wait, what? No, I didn't want to do that. Alright, so we did neither of those things. We accidentally healed our own HQ with a misclick. Don't do that, guys. That's very bad. Don't make mistakes like that. Don't make mistakes like that at all. Four, five, six, we should have healed that. Or played this. We should have done something useful instead of accidentally wasting our five resources. <sighs> we'll remove this. We'll keep this pinned down, I guess. We'll keep that from attacking. We need more units on the board to win, though. Currently, right now, we're going to lose just due to attrition. Which is a huge problem with this deck. For some reason, this HQ in particular has issues with that sort of thing. Okay. So we have nothing but squads in our hand. That's really bad. He can just shoot that for free, even if we heal it. So we'll move it back, force this unit up here, and then we can remove that next turn. We just, we just need more units at this point. I mean, we cleared his board pretty well. We are in control of this game, except we were on a nine turn clock because we drew so many cards to gain control over this game. And that's a card we didn't want to see. So that's not good. Okay, that's that's good for us, though, right there. Him, him just kind of shooting our HQ is a good thing. It's a great thing for us. Because, I mean, he's this game's not going to be determined by HQ being lost, so... Right here, we're going to plop the T-35 down, we're going to plop the gunners down, and we're going to remove this with Artie, and we'll sit back for a turn? Yeah, we'll sit back for a turn, let him use his gunners up on something that's not, oh wait, we win because he timed, he ran out of time, because there's a game clock. Okay, I'm confident that could have been a win either way. Because we, I'm pretty sure we could have killed him in eight turns from where we were, pretty advantageous position. Either way, save by the clock. That's always nice. Advantage to playing a bit faster than your opponent. We still have like we still have eight minutes on our clock, or five, or something like that. I don't know. It's quite a bit. All right, uh, wins a win. Okay. Um. Possibly on to the next one. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so that's it for today. I did record this outro in advance because I'm having problems finding games, so I'll have to record later tonight, and I just want to get the outro out of the way for so it's nice and quiet and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you have wonderful days. Leave any feedback you have in the comment section as always. Always appreciate that, and I'll see you next time.